Gezaj Patel and you are watching Gezaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 13 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with video. So guys in last tutorial we successfully see that how can we edit category and subcategory. So in this tutorial we are going to see how can we delete the category or subcategory by using this uh, delete link. So before uh, wasting of time let's get start. So first of all, what we are going to do here, just come back to the view cat function here it is and here we are going to exactly doing same thing which we are doing into the our edit category. So this time delete del cat okay and here and person sign and that delete cat equal to double quote dot dot dollar row cat id okay so now what we are going to do here just simply we are creating a one query here with the uh, if is set dollar underscore get del cat then what should be done here okay so already we include the database connection so we doesn't need to include that one again so simply directly we are going to get the id with the id equal to dollar underscore get del cat just because this uh, del cat is come with the category id which is coming from the database so we are going to directly target that one so now directly we are going to add the query like del equal to dollar dot and then prepare statement and then double quote delete star from cat where cat id equal to that id which is coming from the get dollar id okay and then directly we are going to use if condition if dollar del executed then echo double quotes run one script with the mm -mm -mm -mm, alert yeah alert category deleted success fully okay and also we need to redirect that user at the same page where the all the categories are displayed so how can we do that so simply script window dot open underscore self and then index.php question mark cat okay so now i think uh, our work is done here so now let's try to delete that category which is clicked by the user okay and in the else condition we need same thing but in the different type category not deleted successfully okay so now come back again here okay what is going on here yeah yeah just because i removed that single bracket for that reason it is coming so when i click on this marketing delete 
So category not deleted successfully. Delete from cat or category ID. Category deleted successfully. Just look at this now. You can see that. Just look at this category deleted successfully. Okay, and that category also deleted successfully. Let's try to remove one more category from here with the click button. Category deleted successfully. Okay, also check the database. Mm -hmm. YouTube e-learning, subcat. Just look at this now. <coughs> that category deleted successfully. And now, uh, let's jump on the subcategory. So let's come back again here. Do the same thing. Just copy this one from here by Control C, and then find the paywall subcat function. Okay, here it is. And after this one, we are going to here add that one. Also change the links from here. Question mark subcat and del subcat okay which is equal to double quotes dot dot dollar row subcat id okay so now del subcat subcat also from here subcat and here is also we subcat and change it with same this also is will be same create from subcat where category uh, subcategory id subcategory id equal to this id which is coming from the R, get so i'm going to refresh this one again Delete that uh, database. So just look at this now. Subcategory deleted successfully. Okay. When I click on OK, that category will be deleted successfully. Just look at this now. Now again, click on this one. So this category deleted successfully. So guys, I think this is enough for today. Next tutorial, we are going to working on the language, course language. So we are dynamically add languages. Uh, and then we will update it delete it and display it from here and same we display this category section so same way we are going to display the languages from here so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so Press the subscribe button, smack that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in next tutorial. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Goodbye.